Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer video. Today we've got the Dell Photo 926. Now, this is more of a review video. If you are thinking about buying this printer, um, it's not a brand new printer, it's an older model. So I'm kind of going to give my take on a kind of used printers in general, but specifically this printer here. Okay, so this is a Photo 926. This is an older model and a lot of people still have these. And um, if you're thinking about buying one, you know, they sell them on eBay and Amazon, um, the used versions, and this is a used um, version as well. So what is my take on buying a used printer like this? Are they still good? Do they still hold uh, any value? Do, are, are they still going to be functional at all? And the answer is absolutely yes. I think these are the best printers to buy, especially if you have... Um, some ink lying around for this model of printer and your version dies out you can very inexpensively buy this printer here and uh, Use the rest of that ink and that's going to be save you a lot of money Now for the most part problems on these printers are pretty difficult to fix You're not going to have any print head issues because um, the print cartridges themselves are just right in there You're never going to have an issue with this so if you do have an error code for whatever reason, I don't recommend you try fixing it yourself. If you look on this channel, you'll see that I do show you how to fix certain types of printers. But this is not a printer that I would necessarily try to fix yourself, and I wouldn't really recommend giving it to the technician either. So this is one of those, one of those examples where you would really, if you have a really bad error code and it's not going away and you can't print at all, um, I really just recommend you buy a used version of this printer or a new version. Now I'm going to go ahead and leave uh, some links below um, in the description below so you can go ahead and take a look at that. I'm going to leave a link to this printer but there are also other printers that use 9 series ink which is what this printer uses, 9 series. So if you have some leftover 9 series ink or you just like how this type of ink prints, this type of printer prints. I'm going to provide you with the link to this printer and some other ones that use similar ink, maybe newer. The thing is that if you use the same printer over and over again and you buy the sim same printer, you're going to have some leftover things like ink, like maybe some other parts, you know, the cables that are going to help you with your next one. And you're going to know what, to, what you're up against with the next one. Now I'm also launching my website. This uh, channel has been doing really well and uh, this business in general has been doing really well. So I'm starting a, a new uh, a website called bestprinterstech.com. Um, whenever it launches, there will be a link also in the description below and it's going to have a Dell version and it's going to kind of talk about there's an HP Epson brother and there's going to be a Dell version that kind of talks about what you should do if you have an issue with a certain printer and it's going to kind of have the same attitude that I have in this video which is I do recommend buying a used version of this printer or a new one that is this model which they're very very expensive now so that's why I always start off with saying used but if you can get a good deal for a new one then of course you're going to want to go ahead and do that now this printer it's an older model but it can still do quite a bit you've got some uh, memory ports right in there so that you can uh, go ahead and directly print uh, from a um, from a camera or from a memory stick uh, you can print photos that's what I really like about this printer is that it's an older printer but it still is doing things that you would really want it you, you know the basics of what you need it to do and it's affordable if you go ahead and you buy a new version or a brand new model of the Dell um, kind of end this category you you might save a little bit of money and you might not on the initial price but the ink will be very expensive the older ink gets the cheaper it gets and so that's another reason why you would want to really uh, just keep an older model and i highly recommend you have an older model i myself um, practice what i preach i use an older uh, canon of a much older canon and i buy the ink very very inexpensively so that's why i recommend it now also if you're running if you're not win running Windows 8 yet, you're running Windows XP or Vista, uh, even if you're running Windows 8 you shouldn't have a problem, but this is compatible with those older models as well of, uh, of 
you know, Windows Vista. So I hope this video was helpful, kind of a review on this printer. I'm not really going into the functionality of it, but it, because it's, it's pretty basic. I mean, if I put a paper up in here, it'll print out. I can scan, um, I can print photos. So it's, it's really, you know, not anything too complicated. I highly recommend this printer. I've uh, sold many of these and I've worked on many of these and these are very good printers, I'll tell you. So again, I have left some links in the description below. Go ahead and click on those. If you were thinking about buying one or you needed even new ink, I will even leave a link to some ink for this printer if you're running low and you kind of just need to buy some. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and leave that there for you. So make sure to like the video. Also subscribe. Thanks for watching and until next time.